so hello hello it has been a long time since i have vlogged um it's been a lot of things going on for me the last few weeks i started a job i quit a job got a new job and moved into my first ever apartment that I am currently sitting in. But I am not gonna show any of that off right now because it is nowhere near where I want it to be. Disregard my hair, it's a mess. I am in my first apartment. My son is over there eating. That's as much as y'all gonna see right now. It's, it's yeah, it's not ready. It's nowhere near ready. Still a bit of chaos. We have been here since Tuesday and I still do not have cable or internet because long story short Spectrum lost my equipment well FedEx not Spectrum FedEx lost my equipment so tomorrow I'm gonna go to a Spectrum store and pick up new equipment because it's been about four days and they still have yet to find my equipment so fingers crossed tomorrow I will finally have cable and Wi-Fi but speaking of my hair, I actually did get it done since I moved over here by a hairstylist over here. I got it done on Tuesday and it was okay, but it wasn't as good as my Gigi used to do it. But even though I'm not that far from home because I don't drive, it's too far for me to go to Gigi anymore so I was gonna go to the hairstylist over here but I quickly realized that she just does not do my hair as good as Gigi and then like with me working I move a lot more so like my body temperature is making it kind of hard for my hair to stay straight at the roots and then there are a few girls at my job whose hair is natural and it tempts me so with that being said I took the plunge and decided that tonight actually when I get done vlogging right now I am gonna go back to the curls I'm not gonna say I'm going back permanently because y'all know I said I was never gonna go back to the curls but at least temporarily at least probably through the summer because even if Gigi was on my hair with it being so hot right now and then the fact that I'm also working and I'm moving a lot even though I kind of sit down a lot at my job but I move a lot more than I used to and then my apartment's on the third floor so yeah I'm huffing and puffing by the time I get up here but just more so the fact that it's hot now we've already had almost triple digits for a few weeks now but we're kind of in the 80s right now because it's been a little gloomy but i think for the summer it'll just be better to go back to the curls and then also because i got color in my hair now oh yeah i don't think i've vlogged since i got my hair dyed. i got my hair dyed four weeks ago Gigi did it. That was the last time she did it. I just added some more blonde throughout. Because uh, I just was over the darker color. Kept the brown as the base. But just added some blonde streaks. But we went to Target. I went for something different. Well, I, well, I wasn't sure if I was going to do it. But I said if I was going to go back natural. I was going to get the good stuff. And if y'all remember when I was natural extreme gel is my favorite gel hopefully my hair still likes this so I got this big tub because it'll last me a long time and so that I can not have to buy any for a while I've never used I don't know if I've used this brand Cantu shampoo I might have once and I like Cantu so I got the big bottle of their cleansing shampoo everything that i got is can too other than the gel so i got their cleansing shampoo and then i got i didn't get the big one in the conditioner but i got their sulfate free hydrating conditioner i got their big 
coconut curling cream. I got, I have never used the leave-in conditioning mist, but on the days that I need a refresher, instead of just adding water in gel, I'm gonna add some of this with water. And then I got, I've never used this either, but their shea butter, tea tree, and jojoba oil, hair and scalp oil to add a little shine and to help the scalp because sometimes it gets a little itchy. So yeah, I got almost the whole line. Well, a lot of the line, not the whole line, because there's a lot of the line. But yeah, that is what I got. I am off the next two days. I'm not gonna say where I work, but I work at a hotel and that's all I'm gonna say, a very luxurious hotel, very high-end hotel. Uh, not gonna say what I do either. I just started about a week ago, well like a week and two days ago, so almost a week and a half ago. And last week I worked second shift, which is, 3 to 11 30 and this week i work the morning shift which is 7 to 3 30 and i hate that shift i have to get up at five but maybe now that my hair is natural i can get up at six because all i have to do is kind of wet it a little bit add a few things to it or a couple things to it and let it dry while i'm at work so that'll be the plus side i can get a little bit more sleep but i'm off tomorrow and Tuesday I'm gonna sleep in a little bit tomorrow but I want to jump on my hair cuz who knows how long it's gonna take now that part being natural I'm never gonna like plus I need to shave cuz I have not shaven in over a week because all the moving and working I just have not had time I work full-time five days a week eight hours a day on top of moving Push that trash down, baby, and then wash your hands. It's just been a lot. But since I'm off the next two days, I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I wanna get it over with because like, I'm so nervous. I said I was never gonna go back to the curls, but I just think it's what's for best. So I'm gonna get that over with. The lighting is so much better this way. So I'm gonna go in the shower and come out looking different. Now don't get another Capri Sun, get a water. Then you say you didn't like that? Okay, after that, no more juice, water. I just feel like something is. I'm gonna go do that and come back and vlog some more because I need to get back into vlogging. But I feel like the next two days are the only days where I can kind of just sit still, even though I have some stuff to do tomorrow. Like I said, I'm gonna go pick up my cable boxes tomorrow. And then I don't know what else. Even though I had two days off last week. I was busy those whole two days. I'm gonna just kind of chill now that most of the madness of moving is over tomorrow. Other than getting my cable boxes, I don't think I have any, my cable and my Wi-Fi boxes, I don't think I have anything else to do. So I'm just gonna chill and then Tuesday, I don't think I have anything to do. I might go Tuesday to take care of something at work, not to work, but no, I'll probably just wait till Wednesday to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to work Tuesday to do nothing. They're not going to see my face. But yeah, I'm going to go and jump in the shower, shave, oh, wash his hair, and come out with the curls. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. Hope I'm making the right choice. But I mean, I can always go back to my blowouts if I don't like it. But I'm not going to say permanently, but at least through the summer. And then we'll see. And if I don't like it, I'll just make an appointment to get it blown out. Not a big deal. But I'm definitely going to save some money, though. But that's why I got the big containers of the shampoo and the curling cream. I don't know why I did it with the conditioner. So I won't have to buy them for a while. And I always get the bigger one of the gel because it lasts a long time. And... Why not? I will vlog when I get done. If I'm not too tired, because I've been up since five this morning. Say hello. He's so far away. He's eating. Yeah, I don't have chairs for the counter. I'm debating if I'm gonna put some or not, because I just feel like 
we don't need them. I'm going to put like a little table, dining room table over there. But I don't feel like having a dining room table. Or I'm going to put the dining room table at that wall where those pictures are. One of the two areas over there, but I don't know if I feel like having counter chairs is a necessity. But that's as much as I'm going to show y'all. Uh, I don't know, maybe when I get done with my hair, depending on how I feel, I may show some stuff off. But it's still a disaster. There's still a lot I got to do. I still got to save and get a couch. Uh, I still have some things in boxes and in bags in the closet. I still have things I need to get. Got to get my TV up on the wall. It's right there. My son's TV is in his room. My TV for my bedroom is in my bedroom, but none of it is plugged up. Well, his is because he connects his Nintendo Switch to it. But neither one of these are clearly because that one's right there. And mine is just sitting where it's going to be, but it's not plugged up. But hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed. But yeah, let's go take a shower. Well, not y'all, but I'm going to take a shower. And come out a whole new woman. They're going to be so surprised when I go to work and they see my curls. <laughs> I hope I'm making the right choice. I feel like I am though, but we'll see. But I will talk to y'all soon. This is damn near 13 minutes. I'm going to hate to edit this. But after not vlogging for a month, it's worth it. Because I have missed it. It's just been a lot going on. So I will talk to y'all in a little bit. Oh, and I also wanted to show that I got my son this new old spice deodorant from target and it is in the scents fiji with palm tree it smells so good my dad used to love old spice i used to buy him like the sets that came with like the deodorant the cologne and i think the batch or something like that but they have a whole freaking line of old spice now and this one and another one was my favorite because like my mom she'll buy my son like cheap ass deodorant and bath stuff and I told her like he's 14 you cannot be buying that stuff for a teenager not a boy maybe for a girl because we don't smell like men do but like in these teenage years when they're close to hitting puberty or they're hitting puberty I would say from like 10 and up Probably until they become an adult and like their scent becomes a little bit more controllable. But even grown ass men. But I think as adults they know how to control it better. But a teenager does not. And then like I said they're going through puberty and stuff. So he needs something that was a little bit more expensive. And this was definitely almost. This was $5. That's expensive for some deodorant. It's name brand. It has a good scent. It's good for a teenage boy. I will wear this as a woman. Like this stuff smells so good. It's not masculine. Like I will say Old Spice scents are not very masculine. I did get the one of the two that I felt like. Well, there was actually three that had stronger scents. But it's still not that scent. Like I think that this one and the other one there was one other one that i really liked women could wear them they smell so good i got him this so he's gonna smell really good and i'm gonna definitely spend more money on his deodorant than i do on my uh spend on my deodorant because men just don't smell like women and i feel like at this age they should shower twice a day <laughs> morning and night this is triple protection, fresher than daydreams, aluminum free deodorant, you men or women that have teenage boys. Yes, have them try this. It smells so good. And again, this is in the scent Fiji with palm tree, Old Spice. And it reminds me of my dad because he used to love Old Spice. Like I seriously might use some of this or go buy me some. But anyway, I'm going to get in the shower and shave and get these curls popping. My ends, when my hair is natural, is straight now though. Because I see it when I get it done. And after they wash it, my ends are straight. 
my ends might give me a little bit of issue because after you get your hair blown out so much it starts to straighten itself and my ends are straight and then now the fact that my hair has color back in it it's not tight anyway which I prefer I hate tight curls um, so I am here the looser the better so the color it's gonna make my curls pretty loose on top of the fact that my hair is extremely stretched from getting it blown out for a year every two weeks in the shower shave get this hair back curly come out a different woman and then I don't know but I hope it does not take me two or three hours that part I'm never gonna like but we shall see okay so it is hours later and as you can see I did wash my hair and I did a wash and go but I can't find my blow dryer and it's not at my mom's house so weird to say my mom's house but it's not there I called her and she said it's not there and it's not here I've looked through the few places where it could be here and the few boxes that I still have packed and it's nowhere to be found and if you know me you know that when my hair is natural if it's wet I will not get in my bed that's not gonna happen I'm gonna sleep her on this chair but I'm not gonna like lay back I'm just gonna sit up some kind of way but I'm gonna recline it I don't know probably just sleep like this or something but I will not get in my bed with wet hair under any circumstance. It's just not going to happen. And I guess later today, I'm going to have to go buy a new blow dryer because I don't know where my blow dryer is. Maybe it got lost in the move um, because there's also a flat iron that I don't know where it's at either. And the flat iron and the blow dryer will be together. I have no idea where either one of them are. So I'm probably going to have to go buy a new blow dryer, especially now if I'm going to keep my hair natural for a little while because I can't go to work with wet hair. It's not really appropriate. I got to get another blow dryer. So I'll probably do that today along with hopefully finally getting my cable boxes and my Wi-Fi box. But it is 1.41 and I have been up for almost 24 hours. I got up yesterday at 5 a.m. because I had to work. And now it's 1.41 the next day. So I am going to sit here and go to sleep. So I will be back with y'all later. So hello, hello. It is now Monday afternoon. Oh my God, I gotta get used to it. Mean, I haven't vlogged in a long time. It's 1.15. My hair is still soaking wet. I literally had to put two bags on it and then put a towel on my chair right there. And that's where I slept. And it was okay, but I'm like, around nine this morning my neck started to hurt but it was an okay sleep i'm exhausted though because yesterday i had to get up at five in the morning for work but now that i'm gonna be back to the curls i think i can get up at like 5 30 but i still need to get up and give myself time enough to blow dry my hair if i need to those mornings that i wet it but i'm not gonna wet it every day so i'll get 30 minutes more sleep which is good um because this week i work 7 to 3 30 which sucks ass waiting for my mom to get here because as y'all know well y'all don't know i was supposed to have had my cable hooked up days ago and fedex again has fucking lost it it said it was delivered on thursday never got delivered now it's saying got delivered today didn't get delivered so i'm gonna just go to a spectrum and i called him yesterday i'm just gonna go to spectrum and pick up some equipment they already got it on my account that FedEx lost it. I'm sick of waiting. 
it's been a week since I even talked to the Spectrum dude and got everything situated and I still have no internet, no cable. So I'm going to go to a Spectrum store and pick up my equipment. But then I need to get a blow dryer because I went through the boxes that I still have boxed up. It's not in any of those boxes. And my mom said it's not at her house. So I don't know where my blow dryer is. I don't know if it got lost within the moving process because I wasn't even here. I was at orientation when all my stuff got moved in. Me and my son's stuff got moved in. My mom and him did that with the movers. But I was at work orientation. I don't know if it got left in the moving truck. I don't know. She says it's not at her house. It's not here. I gotta go get another blow dryer. Like my hair is still soaking wet right now. And it's been over 12 hours since I did my hair last night. Yeah, I need to get a blow dryer. Hopefully I can come back home with cable boxes and my Wi-Fi box and I come home and get that shit connected. That is what is on the plans for today. And tonight will be my first night here by myself because my son goes to his dad's today. He was supposed to went yesterday, but he wanted to stay an extra day. So his dad let him. So my mom is going to drop him off later after we get done with everything because they're all in one city. I'm the only one here. So tonight will be my first night here by myself. So that should be interesting. That's it. I will take y'all along with me when she gets here. And... so i just got back to my apartment um disregard how my hair looks it's still very wet but i went and got me a blow dryer and i finally got my cable boxes so i'm gonna sit down and eat mama dukes got us mcdonald's but my son is gone back with my mom because he goes to his dad's like i told y'all he was supposed to went yesterday because we do sunday to sunday but he wanted to stay an extra day so he went with us and they just left and they're gonna go pick up my aunt now and take her to where she gotta go and then my mom's gonna drop him off at his dad's so this will be my first almost full week because he was supposed to went yesterday so this will be my first six days here by myself because he's been with me for the last eight days tonight will be my first night here by myself but i'm gonna wash my face and my hands i'm gonna sit down and eat my mcdonald's for the last time in a quiet apartment without tv and then i'm gonna hook up my cable and my internet but i'm also gonna put some hamburger meat in the sink to thaw out because i'm gonna make some chili for me to eat this week and to take to work with me even though i don't have any plastic bowls to put it in for work but i'm gonna figure that out i'm gonna put this hamburger meat in the sink to thaw out and by the time i get done eating and putting my cables together and all that it will be done thawing out and then i can just make the chili and that will be what i eat this week and take to work with me and i have to take food to work because even though i work at a high-end hotel the food that they give the employees yesterday it was pretty decent so that i did get and bring home and i ate it last night most of the time to me it'd be like dog food so i definitely have to take lunch it's gonna be chilly but like i said i don't have no plastic bowls so i don't know how that's gonna work i'm gonna have to figure it out i'm gonna sit down and eat 
and get my cable installed finally in my wi-fi i will be back sometime later and it took us so long to get home because we got lost we got lost a little bit on the way there but not as bad on the way back um because we went to a different city instead of there's a city that we're more familiar with but from where i live now it's further away so we went to a place that should have been closer but we're not familiar so we got a little lost and then on the way back we drove too far out and then we had to find i4 and then i4 the traffic is horrendous it took us like 30 minutes to drive 14 miles because we were in standstill traffic so it took forever and then we stopped by mcdonald's yeah and then it was raining on top of that and i had to be very careful walking up the first floor my apartment's on the third floor which i hate but whatever but you know the first floor steps got wet with the rain and i have on flip flops and i fell the other day going up the stairs i've never felt going up the stairs so i definitely had to be careful but thank god my son was there and i just kind of hurt my arm on the outside and my side a little bit but but, it, but i was fine but i just had to be careful knowing that it rained and it was wet and then my shoes that i had on but i'm gonna eat because i'm starving i haven't eaten today and it's 6 30 and we have been gone since like 2 30. it took us a while and we were in spectrum for a while and my mom changed her services at her house um to lower her bill especially because me and my son don't live there anymore and she only wanted two active tvs we have five in that house so she changed some of her stuff and she took back some of her cable boxes but there's still one box here that my son brought with him so she'll turn those in and those remotes are here too so she'll turn those in at some point but now her bill is going to be a lot cheaper yeah i'm gonna eat because i'm starving and then finally have some cable and then i'm gonna blow dry my hair because this shit is still wet at the roots and it doesn't look how it's supposed to look because it's wet but i'll be back it is much much later and as you can see i took my hair apart and it looks so much better it's still not 100 percent dry but it's pretty dry i would say it's about 95 percent dry so that's something i finally got my cable turned on i was on the phone with spectrum for about two hours between two different people Thankfully, it's on all three TVs. Wi-Fi is on. And now I am in bed watching last week's episode of Teen Mom. I'm kind of trying to get caught up on some of the stuff that I missed from last week. I should be sleeping right now because it's like 3 a.m. But I feel like I deserve... A little bit of late night when i get out watching this episode i'm gonna go to bed because it's past my bedtime it's so crazy to say that let me pause this because i don't want to miss anything but it's so crazy to say that it's past my bedtime at three when a few weeks ago i was going to bed at eight in the morning nine in the morning it's crazy but yeah it's past my bedtime now so when i get done watching this i'm gonna go to bed and when i get back up i'm gonna just lounge and relax and get caught up on more of some of the stuff that i missed from last week because this is the first time that i've watched tv in a week i have a lot to get caught up on so i'm gonna take this vlog into today tuesday and it'll be a two-day vlog good night i will talk to y'all 
later today when I wake back up. So. Good afternoon. It is 12.18 and I got up at 11.30. That's the latest that I will allow myself to sleep in. But I didn't go to bed until like after four this morning because I wanted to enjoy some TV after being here for almost a week. Well, basically a week, a week today and not having any cable or any internet. And I finally got it yesterday, last night. I wanted to enjoy a little TV and I'm off today. I was off yesterday. So I let myself splurge and stay up late, but I have my alarm set for 1130. So I got up, I just put some clothes in the washing machine and I am gonna cook my chili. And I wanted that to be what I take to work with me, but I don't have any like Tupperware bowls yet. I just have like ceramic bowls. Mom said that if she has time today, she'll bring me some of hers. But if not, I'm gonna probably just skip lunch tomorrow at work or just eat some snacks or maybe they'll have something decent. I don't know. If I don't get the bowls today, I'm not gonna take any chili because I don't have anything to put them in. But I'm gonna make that and I'm gonna eat some of that. I'm gonna relax the rest of the day and get caught up on some TV. That is the plans for today. Okay, so while I wait for my chili to finish cooking, I told y'all yesterday that I also needed, this is gonna be a long vlog, but it's okay. It's been a long time. But I told y'all that I needed a blow dryer because I did my hair, what's today, Tuesday? So Saturday night, Sunday night when I got off work. I needed a blow dryer because my blow dryer is somewhere lost. I don't know. It's not here. I have went through everything here. My mom says it's not at her house. I don't know where it's at. I also have a flat iron that's missing and I think that they're together. So I don't know. So I needed a new blow dryer. So yesterday I went to Home Goods because it was right across from Spectrum. I got this. Oh, the lighting is not good over here. Okay, let me go over here where the kitchen is so you can see better, better lighting. So I got this Hot Tools Professional Stylist blow dryer. And then when I was in that section, I also saw if I can get this open with one hand. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. But I also saw this glass jar with its 120 piece hair elastics. And it was only $9.99, so $10. So I just thought it was cool. So I also, oh my God, the lighting. Let's go back over here so you can see. So it's like tan colors and 120 of them for 10 bucks. So I also got that. So, and then the other day, because I was gonna do a Roku, I'm gonna just sit this down now. I was gonna do the Roku sticks. 
instead of Spectrum because I was just, I got sick of waiting. But they were like, it's going to cost you more money to do it that way because you have to buy the subscriptions for everything. So I let that go. But while we were in there and my son, he's been saying he wanted this since we got to the apartment. Actually before when he knew we were moving, he wanted his TV to be on the wall. And y'all know I had my TV in my office at my mom's house on the wall, but I had the kind that comes out. So I also wanted mine on the wall. So I got two of these wall mounts. Let me take it down a little bit. One for his TV and one for the TV in here. I don't know, the other one is right here in the bag still. I don't know when they're gonna get put up because I have to wait for my cousin to um, come put them up. But yeah, I have wall mounts for me and my son's TV. Well, my TV in here, the TV in the bedroom is gonna stay where it's at. Yeah, so that's everything that I got. So now when I do my wash and goes, I have my blow dryer and then I have enough hair elastics to last me a very long time. But I'm gonna go turn this chili off now because it's done. what it looks like and I do like a lot of juice in my chili and my soup I do wish I had some diced tomatoes in here but like I said I forgot to get them so it is what it is so yeah this is my chili so, I'm gonna sit down and eat now and, and, and relax and later today I'm gonna wash um, one of my work shirts and a white towel out on my hand because that's the only wipes that I have that need to be washed and I'm not gonna put that two things in a washing machine I did it the other night when I needed to wash my work shirts I washed them out on my hand in the kitchen sink that's what I'm gonna do and it also cleans the sink because you use bleach and white clothes so it also cleans the sink but that's what i'm gonna do i don't understand people that will wash one or two pieces like if it's just like shirt if it's like cover or something that's different because that's a big thing so it's okay to wash one thing but a shirt and a towel like come on put that in the sink and wash it out on your hand but i need it for work because we only have two work uniforms i don't know why they only give us two at disney they give you five so you can make it through the week but I have to wash every other day but I already got one clean and both pairs of my pants are clean because they're colored so they get washed with the colors I have to wash my work uniforms every other day so I have to wash that in the white towel and I'm gonna wash them out on my hands and then put them in the dryer but I'm gonna sit down and eat now though because it is 1:25, and I haven't eaten yet Okay, so this is the finished product. I had to hop on my iPad because I currently have my videos being sent from the camera to my iPhone so that I can start editing today. So I'm on my iPad now, which is totally fine. But this is the finished product of my chili. So I'm about to sit down and eat, relax, and then start editing at some point. I'm <laughs> sorry.